Hey everyone, Mike here again, and it's a gorgeous Saturday, uh, and I'm continuing my quest of getting my car, my Sky, ready for the uh, Sky Solstice National Meet in um, in Kentucky. It's actually going to be less than two weeks away, and I got a few more things that I want to wrap up uh, to get it prepared. I've already painted the calipers red, and that's done. Uh, next up, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and paint the wheels black. I'm using the plastic dip. I know. It's kind of a love-hate relationship sometimes with some people. Some people love it, some people hate it. I've actually used it before. I'm okay with it. I haven't used it on wheels, so I'm kind of curious to see how, how durable that product is on the wheels. But, um, but I'm going to go ahead. It's, it's an easy thing to do, and uh, it's not permanent. So if you don't like it, you can always peel it off and uh, you know, go with something else. But anyway, I'm going to be doing that today and showing you the different uh, uh, items that I got. I got. I got the whole kit from uh, dipyourcar.com. Not that it's any kind of plug or anything for them, but it does come with a kit with enough to do all four wheels, including the plastic dip paint and the glossifier and some, some rags and some other stuff. And I also added to that kit uh, a product that's supposed to um, make the paint a little more durable, especially on the wheels. Uh, you spray on after everything is done. So I'm curious to see how that works out as well. But uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you what's, uh, what's in that kit and start painting the wheels. Alright, so here's what comes with the kit from the plastidip.com. Uh, this is the wheel kit. Um, comes with the plastic uh, plastidip glossifier, which we have here. This is what's going to make it uh, shiny after I paint them black. So I got one of those. Comes with uh, microfiber towel. Oh, it looks like there's something else in here. Let me see. Oh, and it has the uh, the dip release. This actually, what you do is you put this on your tire uh, portion of your wheel, so whenever you, um, it actually keeps it from sticking to the tire. It makes it very easy to release the, the plastic dip paint from the tire. So that's what that's for. And it comes with the bags, plastic, uh, plastic bags that you can actually use. If you were um, applying this on your car with the wheel, on your car, you would use this to cover the rotors and the in the uh, in the calipers and brakes and everything. But I already have the wheels off the car, so I'm not going to really need these. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, the pre-dip spray. This is actually going to be used for cleaning the wheels themselves. So apparently, there's something in here that's going to uh, take all the grease and the grime and everything else off the wheels. Use this before you actually start spraying. Okay, this is the other stuff, uh, this dip coat. I actually purchased this separately. Uh, after the wheels are completely done and completely painted, dried, every, everything is done there, you actually spray this on there as an extra coat of protection. So apparently it um, keeps it from scratching and enhances the shine. It does all kinds of other kind of stuff too. So we'll see how well this works. I'm kind of curious, but uh, especially being on the wheels, that's pretty much why I ordered it. Knowing it's going to be on the wheels, it's going to be a little more harsh environment for the paint. So I got this on there, I uh, ordered this, and I'll be putting it on after I'm all done. And then... There's another box, which I assume has more... has more of the... Uh, or actually, it has the paint part of it, not more of the paint. It's the paint in general should have a few cans in here because it's supposed to be able to do all four wheels. Let's see what we got. Okay, here we go. We got two more two more glossifier cans. And then we got four of the actual uh, black plastic dip paint itself. So anyway, like I said, the kit I got from dip your kit, uh, dipyourcar.com. Oops, as I'm dropping everything and not that there's any kind of a plug or anything like that but it does make it easy because it just comes with everything and when you price everything out it's pretty much the same as if you would like go to Home Depot or whatever and buy the paint itself but with that you don't get all of these extra little items that uh, dipyourcar.com provided so um, so anyway I am ready to go I'm going to kind of set up the area to, to paint everything and start cleaning the wheels and um, I'm looking forward to getting this done and seeing how everything looks. Right, before we begin painting we have to prepare the wheel 
which includes cleaning the actual uh, face of the wheel as well as preparing the sidewall of the tire with the, uh, the dip release. But before I do any of that, what I want to do is I'm going to actually poke out the center cap because I don't want to paint the center caps uh, with the wheels whenever I have them on there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. That was easy. And then first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put the uh, dip release on the tire portion of the wheel. The kit did come with a microfiber tile. And actually say go ahead and you don't really need a, a whole big piece. So you say go ahead and just cut a small piece for the dip release. So I'm going to cut a small piece out of the tile and use it for that. You really want to avoid getting it on the actual wheel itself because if you do then the paint won't stick to the wheel. It'll actually release do exactly what it's supposed to do. It'll release the paint from the wheel as well. But when we're cleaning it we'll actually kind of take care of that anyway. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start cleaning the actual wheel itself. That's probably the cleanest this wheel's ever been, or at least since I've got it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other three wheels and uh, start the painting process. All right, all the wheels are clean and they are ready to be painted. I have them sitting here in my state-of-the-art spray booth that I created in my garage. So um, let's go ahead and get this party started. And get these wheels painted black. Now the first coat is supposed to be a real light coat just to kind of get uh, some of the plastic dip to grip onto the wheels themselves. And once that first coat is done then we can start adding heavier coats after that. Thing that I'm seeing is happening here is it's uh, the, the cans uh, the spray is actually spurting out and kind of spitting out when I first start spraying it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the other cans uh, in the Sun try to warm those up and I'm going to put this can in the Sun as well because uh, what I heard is if you can warm up the cans it'll actually help spray um, help with the spray and, and, and not uh, have that spitting action going on so while these are drying I'm going to go try to heat these babies up and then uh, go on with the second coat even though there's some ventilation in here, I wish there was actually a little bit more. So rather than breathe in the, uh, the paint fumes and everything else, I don't have one of those masks. I wish I'd have picked one up earlier, but I'm just going to go ahead and use a towel. Uh, it's actually a microfiber towel and just kind of wear this whenever I'm spraying to keep the, um, the aerosol out of my lungs. the paint definitely helped with the spraying it sprayed actually a lot uh, a lot better it wasn't doing that it wasn't doing that spinning anymore all right so now I'm going to go ahead and put on some heavier coats
Okay, this is what we got with three coats on it so far, and it is looking nice. I think the key is those wet coats towards the end, just to make sure it's a nice, pretty smooth finish. And it's looking good. Probably going to do one or two more coats, maybe another coat, depends on how much plastic dip I'll have. I might as well just go ahead and use it all. And then after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and add the, uh, the glossifier as well. So, so far so good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add a few more coats to it. And then uh, I'll start the video back up again whenever I start working on the glossifier. But uh, so far I like it a lot. I think it's going to look really cool with the black wheels and the silver sky and the red calipers. I'm looking forward to it. Alright, so here we are. This is with six coats of the Plasti Dip Black on there. Now I haven't done any of the glossifier yet. I'm probably going to wait till tomorrow to do that because it's getting a little bit late and even though it looks like it's bright out with the camera, it's really not that bright in here so I don't want to mess it up. But um, as you can see it's actually it's pretty smooth and I kind of learned my lesson when I write Plasti Dip the grill and some stuff the trim on my Explorer it came out kind of bumpy and what I didn't do which I did this time is to apply a wet spray or a wet coat after the the two kind of light coats so the key is to do one or two light coats to start to kind of let the Plasti Dip grip into the wheel or whatever you're painting and then after that the rest of the coats you can kind of do a slower steadier closer spray and obviously you don't want to spray so much in one area that it's going to run but you want it to have that kind of like wet look whenever you're spraying it and it'll even though it'll kind of look bumpy it actually smoothens out whenever it's uh, whenever it dries now it's still not obviously it's not regular paint and it's not going to be a nice shiny paint as, um, as a, prof a professional one is done but uh, when I hit the glossifier on there I'm hoping it's going to get a lot more shiny than this and it's going to look really good, but I'm, like I said, I'm going to do that tomorrow simply because I'm running out of daylight here and I want to make sure I can kind of see everything that I'm doing as I'm, uh, as I'm uh, spraying it. So anyway, that's going to be up next and hopefully the glossifier looks just as good. I'll get these wheels on the, uh, on the sky and that'll be uh, a little bit closer to uh, some of the stuff that I want to finally complete before the the, uh, the National Sky Solstice Meet in Kentucky. Hey everybody, how you doing? Today is day two, it is Sunday, and I have another busy day planned for today. Uh, this is my weekend where I'm trying to get a bunch done before the Sky Solstice Meet in Kentucky in a few days. Actually, maybe it's about eight days now, but I really only have a couple of days more to work on my, on my sky to get it there. But yesterday, which was Saturday, I actually was able to paint the calipers and I was able to plastic dip my wheels. However, I still have to do the glossifier on the wheels to make them uh, nice and shiny. So that's uh, that's going to be the first thing I do today. A couple other things I want to do as well today is going to be adding the um, the vinyl stripe down the center of the hood and the trunk. And I'm also going to um, try to get away with painting the uh, engine cover today. I kind of forgot about it a little bit, but then I started thinking yesterday some of the other stuff that I wanted to do. And painting the engine cover was another thing that uh, that I have planned. So I'm going to try to get those two things done today. If I can do that, then uh, it's supposed to rain all next week, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do um, next week for the indoor stuff. All right, I have my freshly painted wheel using the black Plasti Dip paint, and now I'm going to shine it up with some of the Plasti Dip Glossifier. It's going to provide a nice uh, nice shine to the wheel and uh, one of the keys to do this is you actually have to give it a solid uh, wet uh, spray in the beginning. You don't want to do like you do with a normal plastic dip where you put that first and second coat of maybe kind of a light coat. With the glossifier you want to go right in with a heavier wet coat to give it that nice shine and then it should, uh, it should dry that way. So uh, looking forward to getting these things all shined up and I'm going to show you real quick uh, as I do one. I had a little bit 
the issue with the glossifier on this uh, on this wheel uh, because I was painting it vertically which I thought was going to be a better idea I started getting some drips and then when I tried to get rid of the drips and knock the piece of the actual plastic dip off you can see that little spot there and then also on this side right here there it is right there I kind of knocked it off and debating whether or not I should just go ahead and just touch it up with a little brush and forget about it or should I um, just spray that one part here with the plastic dip again I'm not sure how well plastic dip goes over top of the glossifier that I have already on here um, kind of regretting doing the, doing the glossifier at all now because it actually even though I did it as a wet coat it actually brought out some of the texture that I really didn't want to, uh, to happen I, I did the other ones in the garage and A, I didn't have any running with those um, and they actually look pretty good so I'm kind of regretting that I did it outside in the, as a vertical position rather than keeping them lying flat here so these ones don't look too bad so I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave leave it be because uh, it looks okay now the last thing I want to do is mess it up so um, anyway I'm going to go ahead and uh, peel the plastic dip off of the wheels, I'm sorry, off of the, off of the tires and go ahead and mount them and then see what I want to do with that other one how I'm going to touch that up. Alright, I tried touching it up with like a little toothpick and a little bit of the paint and uh, it just wasn't working so I just went ahead and I resprayed it and um, with the plastic dip so hopefully I can just put another little coat of the um, glossifier on it and everything will be fine so uh, we'll see how that works. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and remove the plastic dip from the actual tire. So hopefully the dip release worked well. And we will soon find out how it did. Looks like it all did come off. Thought I was putting enough plastic dip on the tire to give it a nice thick um, piece of rubber that I could grab a hold of and pull off of there, but apparently I didn't do enough coats. So if you guys are going to be doing yours, make sure you get enough coats around the uh, the rim to give yourself something to pull off of the uh, of the tire. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the other ones, and um, hopefully we'll have a nice clean uh, clean wheel and start ready to start uh, mounting them. Alright, the plastic dip did come off all the other tires, not nearly as well as I would have hoped. I guess I just didn't put enough coats on the actual tire part, so I was kind of peeling little pieces um, off of it and it would keep breaking and have to go and, and, and keep peeling it again. So that would definitely be one of the tips is to make sure you do have enough, which I thought I did, uh, you do have enough plastic dip on the tire so you can actually grab a hold of that and peel it off uh, a lot easier. The other thing I forgot is I bought this uh, dip coat stuff and you're supposed to uh, put it on the wheels which is supposed to make the plastic dip a little bit uh, a little bit anti-scratch a little bit more uh, durable as well and um, the only thing I'm a little bit concerned about this is it says you have to use a micro -tile, microfiber tile, tile to, um, to put it on there so you spray this onto the tile and then you wipe the tile onto the to the wheels themselves and anytime I'm wiping a tile on a plastic dip wheel I get a little nervous that it's going to start rubbing it off for some reason. I don't know if I'm just paranoid or what, but I'm probably going to try this on a little piece of the top of the wheel. See what happens if it looks okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it on uh, on all of the wheels, and hopefully this does add some protection. Everyone keeps saying how uh, how plastic dip, you know, it lasts a couple of months and it, it, it chips and comes off and peels and blah blah blah. So hopefully this actually um, I can put it on first of all. And if I am able to put it on, hopefully it's, it works out real well and it does protect the wheels a little bit longer because um, I don't really want to do this another time. And um, if I can get away with that, that would be great. So I'm going to go ahead and try this and see how it works. Alright, i got the product. i got my microfiber tile. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot. Hopefully it works out and it doesn't mess up the plastic dip that I have on here already.
Alright, seems to be going on okay. Nothing's coming off. No plastic dip is coming off either, which is what I was kind of worried about. It actually seems to be increasing the, uh, the shine a little bit as well. Well, you might have noticed that I changed my shirt. I had to actually run to the store, pick something up. So it, my other shirt was pretty sweaty and disgusting. So I went and I changed it to get to the store. And um, that's why it's black and not gray. Actually, that stuff actually did a pretty good job. Uh, it increased the, uh, the slipperiness of it. So it doesn't feel quite as tacky or rough as the normal plastic dip does, even with the uh, glossifier on there. And does add a little more shininess to it. I mean, the glossifier does a good, you know, a good job, if not too much, too good of a job. But um, this stuff, the main goal of this stuff is supposed to be to protect it. So I guess we will find out how well that works uh, in a few weeks or a few days or a few months or whatever. I have to look to see how often. To look online, and see how often I have to uh, to add this to it. Maybe every time I wash the car or once a week or something to keep adding that uh, to the wheels to keep them protected so anyway I think I'm pretty much done here with the wheels all I need to do now is go ahead and mount them on back on the car alright wheels are now on and I think it looks pretty good I had a couple little uh oh moments whenever I was uh, putting the wheels on I actually uh, brushed my leg my jeans up against one of the um, parts of the rim and unfortunately it kind of brushed off some of the plastic dip I wasn't too excited about that and I hope that isn't a uh, kind of a sign of what the quality is going to be like when I'm out on the road with it but I guess we're going to find out and uh, I'm certainly no spokesman for the product I'm just trying it out and I'll let you know how it goes one of the other things that happened was I had to um, I had to take off one of the lug nuts after I put it on and then end up grabbing a hold of the plastic dip and started peeling the plastic dip from the lug nut area so I uh, had to make a little repair there and let me see if I can zoom in you can kind of see it uh, focus it doesn't want to focus and there it is okay so anyway that's uh, kind of a repair I, I did there so we'll see how well that works out but the big test is going to be whenever I take the um, I take it in to get the rotors and the uh, the brake pads in, in uh, swapped out and changed. So we'll see what I'm going to tell the mechanic. Hey, you know, kind of be careful with these wheels because I just plastic dipped them. But we'll see how well that works, especially with the lug nuts. I'm kind of concerned whenever I pull out the lug nuts that uh, or whenever he takes off the lug nuts, it's going to grab some of that plastic dip. Um, hindsight's 2020. I wish I'd have masked off that lug nut area and didn't even paint in there. If I had to do it all over again, that's exactly what I would have done. Um, just simply because, if nothing else, that's going to be the only real maintenance thing that's going to be happening to the wheels. Anytime you, you know, rotate them or change the uh, change off, change the tires and stuff, they're going to pull the wheels off. That's going to be uh, that's going to be something that's done. So, anyway, like the true test is going to be whenever I do get it back from the mechanic and uh, and see how that works out. If that works out well, I think I think I'll be good to go something happens with it you know I'll just have to touch it up the best I can and then um, we'll see how they last I'd like for them to last the rest of the year rest of the season and um, what I might end up doing is getting a price on getting them powder coated because I do like the style of the wheels I was thinking about getting a different aftermarket but now that I see it on here the five spoke uh, rims I kind of like that style anyway so I might get some pricing on powder coating I'm sure that would be a lot, uh, a little cheaper than the um, than buying all brand new wheels to begin with so but as of now like I said I'm very happy with the plastic dip so far um, but like I said we're just gonna see how the durability is so if you uh, want to see what I'm doing go ahead and subscribe to the uh, to my YouTube channel hit like and uh, go ahead and follow me till next time bye